I finally decided to do it. I got pressured by Jay Akunzo, uh, along with a host of other influencers or influences to me over the years. But Jay being the most recent one and hitting me back to back, basically day after day, with different content, same message, ship it. cutting room floor is you. my ongoing vlog, if you will. And it was funny because kind of the way that I, I got a, a point of clarity, so to speak, about me creating content from my business, it was my clarity was tied to Unthinkable and Traction, which are both podcasts that Jay Akunzo does. My realization was that I wanted to, as a starting point, and I'm going to put my own stamp on it, it's going to have to be me. But as a starting point that I felt comfortable with, it was video version of Jay Akunzo. Basically, if Jay was creating episodes, if he was running shows, but not podcasts, running visual video shows, how would that look? What would that look, how would that work? What would that output? So the very first show that I came up with is called the cutting room floor and it's a way for me to ship <laughs> um, and do video and what I'm looking to do is be smart about it right be as strategic as possible I'm one person starting out I am a bootstrap um, you know my mom has basically funded me thus far I mean if you want to talk about an angel investor I got one for you my mom she owns 50 percent of Jason Hobbs LLC she's helped me every step along the way anything that happens positive from here because all i've done is you know make mistake after mistake for the most part um thus far but so any positive progress that comes there's no way it happens without mom i'd if she wasn't around if you subtract her from the equation you know i am screwed basically completely screwed like homeless probably because it took forever for me to get revenue going and it, to understand how to control revenue um, and, and grow it. And it really boils down to starting with an audience, building an audience that are passionate about you, that you've been helpful, that are you know specific, that are tied together through an emotional tie, so to speak. So like, at least to start, I just had, I felt like, you know, I needed to do, I needed to just be me and see, you know, not try and mimic anyone else's, your template or whatever and it, so you're thinking well you just said Jay Akunzo right but he only does audio right and he does it really really well he tells audio stories I want to tell vi video stories so my goal is to do have, if you've ever seen the chef's table on Netflix then you have an idea of kind of how I want to approach the storytelling. I want to pique your curiosity and keep it interesting enough for you to let it play out, let it completely finish. It really boils down to the content that I consume because I just, I really respect and I really don't respect, you know, conversely, I don't, there's a lot of content creation that I'm not real respectful of because it's crap. It really boils down to the people that are focused on quality. They're, they're the ones that I resonate with. I have to figure out a way to start that, to spark up that conversation. And that's where you, the video expression, the video content is going to be 
my means of communication. There'll be episodes. If you want to watch it, watch it. I'm going to try and keep them all short. They're going to be on varied topics, but it's all going to be for one person. That you know, This individual who needs to make more money for themselves and their business by solving a marketing problem, 